Hello, this is Katie and today I'm just going to show you a quick little demonstration of how to make this really cute little heart ring and it is totally adjustable so you can make it so that it will fit most sizes. So for this we're going to be using some one millimetre um, wire so that's one millimetre gauge in the UK which is 18 gauge in the US so you know exactly what wire it is. I'm using approximately 18 centimetres of that wire, which is here. So for this video, I'm going to use these cute little mandals that I've just got in my uh, Relax and Craft box, which I got in August, that was 2023. So these are like very similar to what we would you normally use as six step bell making pliers, but I got these cute, super cute little mandrels and obviously these have got a lot more sizes on than these so it makes them a little bit more versatile i'm still getting used to using them so and fi figuring out what i can do with them so it's a nice little kind of like a toy for me to play with the other ingredients that i'm going to use or tools i'm going to use are pretty basic so i've got some flush cutters i've got some round nose pliers that's just for the very tips because i need to grip with those so i wouldn't be able to use these and some chain nose pliers and i've also got um a ring mandrel and just in case i need it it's not a necessity i've got some nylon jaw pliers too okay so let's get started just move a few things out of the way i'm going to be using the smaller of these mandrels to make the ring and the size I'm going to make, it's going to be an approximation because it's going to be adjustable. But I'm going to go for this kind of M, N to M size on this ring mandrel, which are UK sizes. Please don't ask me what it is in the US size. Please just do a conversion because I don't really know. But it's like an average size, isn't it? N to O or something like that. Okay, so we're going to take a look at our piece of wire. I'm going to go for the middle of our wire. Move a few things out of the way. So the middle of our wire, we're going to take our chain nose pliers, we're going to pop our pliers right in the centre there, and we're going to make a angle. So this angle is going to be the very tip of our heart, so the bottom of our heart. You can see I've just pulled that in there. If I was to hold that straight across, it's just a little bit less than 90 degrees. So it's just the way that the pliers take it to. So I've just popped my pliers in and pushed it as far as I can without denting the wire. Okay, so to use these kind of mandrels, you're gonna to have to kind of move your hands around a little bit and such. You can choose what, whatever size mandrel you're going for. So I'm gonna go for this, um, let's see the second size up, or one, two, three, four size down. Um, let me see if I've got my little gauge, I can tell you what that is. So it's 3.6, 3.8 3 as well. Yeah, 3.6 is that one. So approximately between three and four mil for this, this size. So I'm gonna pop my mandrel where I want that little loop to be. So if we look here, you can see where the point is that we just made at the bottom. And I want to pop the mandrel just to the side where I want the little loop, the little top part of the heart to be. And I'm gonna bring my wire over the front and around. Okay, and I'm going to use the edge that we just made here just to push against. And then you'll find it, oh, I can't push it anymore because you just can't do it. So then I swap hands on mine. So I swap hands, make sure I'm still on the same mandrel. I'm holding it but not pressing it together. And then I can just take that, that little bit further round. Now, when you're doing yours, you could actually work straight from the reel. You don't actually have to um, cut it, but it's just a little bit easier for me because I've got um, a tripod in front of me. So now I can just pop my mandrel in at the opposite side, just dead opposite it, and push my wire again. And I want my wire to stay on top, so make sure you're turning it at the same side. And then I can just hold all this together and push this around. Okay, so you can see I've created that little heart shape. Just going to pull that apart slightly just so they lay flat and I'm just going to pop my mandrel back in for a second and what I want is my wire to come straight out to the side so I'm just holding everything and just pulling that out to the side and the same with this side hold everything and pull it out to the side 
Okay, now the side that we want to put against our ring mandrel is the side that you've got the wires coming out from. So you can see I've got two wires on the front there. That's the side that's going to go against the ring mandrel. Now it's at this point I just used my nylon jaw pliers just to kind of settle the wire a little bit. You don't have to do this, it will do it naturally when you pop it onto your ring mandrel and press against it with your thumb, but it just sets it in nicely. So again, I'm going to turn that over. Oops. So we've got our little heart on this side and the wires are actually against the ring mandrel. I'm going to go in between, so in between M and K, so it's like that kind of N size. And I'm going to push this all the way around. I'm going to make sure I keep my thumb on my little heart bit or your finger on your little heart bit. I'm going to push it all the way around and cross them over. Okay, so as you can see, I've got quite a lot of wire here. That's because I like to work with a, a lot of wire. Like I say, you can work from the reel, no problem. Just work at probably about nine centimetres in when you do that beginning V and then you uh, you should be fine, but you'll, you'll use less wire that way. Okay, especially if you are using something like sterling silver, but I tend to do these in plated wires anyway, so it doesn't really matter so much. Okay, so you can see my little heart is there at the front. I'm happy how that's sitting. I've just crossed those over at the back. And now what I want to do is I want to cut these wires. Now I want to cut them. It'll be around about the width. So can you see where the wire comes off here? And the same at the other side. So I'm going to pull it nice and tight around. And then I'm going to cut it. So it's around about the width of the mandrel. So around about just a tiny bit in there. Like so. And then again at the other side, just make sure you're squashing it down. So it's the actual shape of the mandrel, not too loose. And again, I'm going to cut it around about the same there. Okay, so you can see we've got a nice cross over here. Just kind of eyeball it, look at it straight down. Just make sure you're happy that they're kind of crossed over around about the same length each side. I'm going to take a tiny bit off that side because that will make me happier. Oops, sorry, that was my cup of coffee. And now all I need to do is grab those round nose pliers. And I'm going to take the end. So we're going to turn outwards, so out away from the ring shank. So we're going to grab right at the end, quite a small loop. So I'm going right at the end of my pliers. Just make sure you can't feel it at this side of your pliers. I'm just supporting everything that we've already done while I start to turn it away from the ring shank. And then follow that until it comes all the way around. And then we're going to flip it over and do the same at this side. So just right at the very tip. And then just roll that around until it comes together and you have something like this. You can just go in with your chain nose pliers, just make sure those little loops are nicely closed down. Give them a squish if you need to. Take your time over it. Now your ring is quite firm at that point, but you could hammer that if you wanted to. You can make that big, uh, bigger by stretching it down. You can make it smaller by crossing it over more and giving it a little bit of hammer. It's entirely up to you. You can just use the warmth of your fingers, which is absolutely fine. Or you can actually pop it onto your ring mandrel and then take your hammer. So this, I think this is about a six ounce ball pen hammer. And you can just hold it, hold it down. Obviously don't hit your fingers. Uh, hold your hammer right at the end of your hammer and then it's just the weight of the hammer that comes down. Now normally I would pop, pop a rubber mat underneath there but I'm not fully hammering it but it is just that tapping and it's the weight of the hammer that comes down. We don't hold it with any sort of big grip and push it down. It's just the weight of the hammer. Now what you don't want to do is hammer on this front section here because it will dint again against the wire that's underneath it so you don't need to hammer that at all it's work hardened enough as it is and it only needs a very very slight work hardening if that 
So if you were to do this in a lesser gauge wire, maybe like a 0.8 millimeter, which is your 20 gauge, then you would definitely need to need to hammer it. Okay, so that is your little cute ring. Let's just pop that on. It's very warm here at the moment, hands are a bit swell. There we go. So that's how it looks on. So you can also use that design to create a little bangle. So this is the higher gauge wire, so this is 1.25. I've obviously hammered that to make a bangle. I've used the exact same design, I've popped a little bit of wire work just to bind these together and some charms on there. And I've just popped a loop at each end and actually just used a general normal clasp. And then I've also used the same design for these little earrings, like so. And instead of obviously the wires not coming off there, all I've done is tuck the wire around the back so it just bends over and gets tucked around the back and then I've just linked the ear wire into there so there's a few more ideas for you there and then the charms if you're interested where these beads came from the wire came from and these super duper little, little mini mandrels I absolutely love these mandrels um, these are from the relax and craft subscription box so this was the august box for 2023 obviously you can't get this box right now but this is just an example of what you do get so in this box you've got these tools you've got so much wire it was unbelievable how much wire you got and i've still got loads and loads of it left there's even more here so you've got 0.4 which is your 26 gauge you've got 0.8 which is your 20 gauge you've got one mil which is your 18 gauge and you've got your 1.25 millimeter, which is your 16 gauge, and you've got loads and loads of it. Um, I've also made another bracelet as well. Um, you've got lots of findings, so I got lots of clasps. Um, obviously, some of these have been used. Um, head pins, earring findings, you've got chain, lots of chain, and you also got lots of gemstones. So I will be making something with this in the next few days. So this amazing look at that for a beautiful amethyst cabochon. You also got some frosted amethyst, like a like a matte amethyst, absolutely stunning strand. You don't get that much, you get a whole strand, a full, full strand, and you got this amazing plum tourmaline. Absolutely beautiful. So I will be making lots more with this box. And because um, August just went a little bit crazy with school holidays and such and lots of other things going on, I've had, a lot, I've had two weddings in a week to go to. It's been fantastic. Um, so I've actually already got totally unopened. I don't know, it might be a bit close this. I've just torn the label off. Totally unopened new Relax and Craft subscription box ready to be opened. So I think I might do little unboxing video on that so watch out for that in the next few days and i will see you soon please if you haven't already please do subscribe to my channel the little bell is down below when you click it click all make sure you give the all a little tick and then you won't miss any videos and also if you are interested in getting something like a subscription box which i think is amazing value because you also get other tutorials as well not just from me you get um usually at least three tutorials one of them being a pdf tutorial plus a group where you all share you will chat there's live videos it's it's amazing super super value the link is just down below this video if you're interested so take care i'll see you again really soon and thank you for watching